Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to the Hive. In this video, we'll be taking a look at these Xiaomi air purifiers and adding them to Home Assistant. I've had both of these purifiers for a couple of years and they do a great job of clearing dust out of the air and also pet dander. So while I roll the intro, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week. And let's get started. So a couple of years ago, we got this Xiaomi 2S air purifier from Kogan. Uh, and it performed pretty well and after about a year or so we decided that we wanted to get a second one uh, and we got this Xiaomi 2H air purifier also from Kogan to help clear dust from the bedroom and also in this main living area here. And they both do a really good job of pulling the pet hair and dander out of the air and also clearing dust and smoke as well in case you burn the sausages. They both connect over Wi-Fi and when integrated into Home Assistant, they also expose a number of sensors, including temperature, humidity, particulate density, and even the filter usage and life left. Until recently, integrating these air purifiers into Home Assistant was a complete pain in the neck, involving digging through backups of your Android phone to find the API key in a SQLite database. A recent update to Home Assistant introduced a much better method of connecting to these purifiers by connecting to the Xiaomi Cloud. Now, don't get me wrong, as always, cloud connected devices are not necessarily the best deal. If issues happen with the cloud server or your internet connection, you may not be able to grab the data. That being said though, for these devices, they're not really doing anything mission critical. They're not part of the alarm system or anything like that. Uh, but we will be looking at integrating the temperature sensors and the humidity sensors into Home Assistant and using them for some automations. So just be aware that if there's issues with the cloud, those automations or integrations may not trigger properly. So to demonstrate pairing the purifier with the Mi Home app, I've reset this one here back to factory and I'm going to repair it with the Xiaomi app. This is the 2H. So to pair the 2H air purifier, I'm going to open up the Mi Home app and we'll see we've got the 2S purifier in there. Uh, and if we tap on that, we can see some details there. We can turn it off. We can set the different modes uh, and we can see the temperature and humidity. I'm just going to back out of there. We're going to tap the plus button in the top right corner, tap add a device, scroll down until we get to the air treatment section and tap air purifier. And in here, I'm going to tap on Mi Air Purifier 2H because that's what we've got. I'm going to tap Operation Confirmed because I've already reset the Wi-Fi and I'll tap Next. Uh, and we are connecting to the Force, so I will tap on there and I will enter my Wi-Fi password. And tap Done and then tap Next. Uh, and now I need to connect to the Wi-Fi that's being created by the air purifier. So I will go to Wi-Fi settings and it hasn't come up. So I will reset the air purifier again, holding the button on the back and the button on the top for five seconds until we hear a beep. There we go. So we've got another beep and we should see the other Wi-Fi come up in a second. There we are, we've got the Shimi Air Purifier, so I'll tap that. Perfect, we're connected, and I'll go back over to the Xiaomi app. Connected, it sent the message, and now it's connecting the device itself. Device added, done. Okay, so select the room. This one lives in the master bedroom, so I will tap that there, and uh, we'll leave it in favorites. I'll tap next, and we will change its name to added successfully and let's get started okay so we're in there we've got the master bedroom air purifier i'm going to tap accept on there we've got our temperature we've got our humidity we've got our air quality using the pm 2.5 sensor uh, we can set the speed of the fan to a manual mode 
and the fan's quite loud. I'll send that back to auto. There's also a night mode, uh, which I think just runs the fan at a set percentage, just clearing the air in night mode. I'll leave that at auto. We've got some details about the filter. I do need to get a new filter for that one uh, because uh, it is a little bit older, but the filters do still work fairly well if you just clear the uh, muck and dust out of the outside. They, they still operate pretty well. They may not be as effective as pulling out volatile organic compounds in there. So uh, it is definitely worth uh, making sure you keep your filters up to date. Uh, we can put in things like a scheduled power on and off. Uh, we can turn on or off the notification sound. We can uh, dim the light on here as well. Um, so there's a LED light here and there's also one at the bottom. This one at the bottom changes between green, amber and red to indicate the air quality. Um, and this here indicates the setting. If I tap this light and go to, so it's on dim light as it is. If I tap bright light, we might see, yep, yeah, so that's quite a lot brighter. You can see both the auto and the LED. And see that is now showing amber uh, because the air quality is a little bit uh, lower, uh, but we can uh, change that light. We can actually turn that light off completely so that this light's off and uh, this light's still uh, flashing amber. I'm not sure what's going on there, but we'll not worry too much about that. I'll just set that back to dim, which is where it normally is. We can turn on a parental control so that the buttons on the unit don't actually do anything so that if you've got kids who tap buttons all the time, that's not gonna cause an issue. And there's also receiving a notification when the purifier malfunctions. So that is the purifier itself in the Mi Home app. So let's pop over to Home Assistant and see how it looks in Home Assistant. So I'll just swap the screen capture over there. So now that it's in Xiaomi, we can integrate it into Home Assistant. So to start with, we'll head over to Configuration, Integrations, and straight off the bat, we see that the Xiaomi air purifiers have been auto-discovered. So we should see here that we've got the uh, Xiaomi air purifier MC2. Um, this is the 2H here. We've also got the 2S over here. If I configure that, now we we'll need to fill out the details of our Xiaomi account, including our username and password. Before we get started here, it's interesting to note that the documentation that we're linked to actually points to openhab.org uh, and some documentation on their site. Um, OpenHab is a different home automation orchestration platform that is uh, not necessarily in competition with Home Assistant, but it is a different home automation platform that does run on a Raspberry Pi or in a Docker container very similarly to a Home Assistant. At any rate, we've set the air purifiers up in the Australian region inside the Mi Home app. So if we take a look at this link, we will get our country servers and we need to find this section here uh, and it's loaded here. And if we scroll through here, we'll look for Australia. Uh, we're in AU and the server we need is this SG server. So I'm guessing that is Singapore. So we'll swap back over here. I'm gonna use the SG server and I'm going to grab my username and password for this. I've copied that password from my password store. I'm just gonna paste that in there and hit submit. We're not gonna tap this configure manually uh, as it's not recommended. I'm just gonna hit submit on there. And that is then going to log in to our Xiaomi Mi IO cloud. Perfect, so we've got success. Uh, it's created the configuration for the master bedroom purifier, which is the name we gave it in the app, if you recall. So I'll click the drop down, and I'm going to put that in the bedroom and I'm gonna tap finish. Now we can also tap configure on the other one and I'm gonna put in the same details here as well. Uh, and we will tap submit and it's created a configuration for me air purifier 2s probably should have changed that name in the app but i'll tap the drop down here tap the dining room because that's where it lives normally and we'll tap finish so now that we've got the two xiaomi apps here we can head over to our overview uh, and in the bedroom here we've got our master bedroom purifier and i can turn it off or turn it on that's this one just here 
Uh, I've also got the master bedroom purifier temperature sensor here, the humidity sensor here, the motor speed, the current air quality reading, the current filter life remaining, the amount of time the filter has been running for. We can turn the buzzer off or on. We can turn the purifier child lock off or on. And we can turn the LED off and on. And if we click on the master bedroom purifier here, this fan logo here, we can change the preset mode. At the moment it's on auto. Uh, we can go to silent, which is that night mode that we spoke about before, or we can tap favorite And the favorite is that manual mode that we discussed before, and that's where the fan runs up to full speed. It's a fairly loud fan. It does uh, run quite fast. So now that we've got those sensors in Home Assistant, we can use them to start making decisions about automations, including turning the air purifier on or off when the particulate levels reach certain points. And because we've got the temperature and humidity sensors, we could also start making some automation decisions about heating or cooling if you've got climate control systems in those rooms as well. So that is a quick overview of the Xiaomi 2S and 2H air purifiers. I'll put links to the newer versions of these purifiers in the description, so check them out if you're interested. As I mentioned, they do a great job of pulling dust, pet hair, dander, smoke, and odors out of the air, but the filters do seem to run down quicker than I'm completely comfortable with. That being said, as I mentioned before, they're still quite effective even when they're spent. The 2H is perfect for bedrooms as the display on the 2S can be a little bit distracting at night when you're trying to sleep. That being said, once you've got them integrated into Home Assistant, it's perfectly reasonable to set up an automation as part of your good night scene, for example, to turn the display off and have it come back on in the morning, or to even just use a simple timer automation to turn it off at predetermined times and back on again at a predetermined time. That is all we have for this video, and I do hope that it helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to comment down below with a home automation idea you'd like to see me cover in a future video. Don't forget to follow Hive Mind Automation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing now. While you're at it, hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week. If you're looking for a VPN provider, there is an affiliate link for NordVPN in the video description down below as well. I've chosen to partner with NordVPN because they've got the best infrastructure of any VPN provider, a strict no logs policy and servers all over the planet. So if you're looking for a way to protect yourself when surfing the internet, whether you're in a coffee shop, McDonald's or at home, get a VPN today and use my link below to sign up for NordVPN. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like. And lastly, if you enjoy what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link in the video description down below. Contributions through that buy me a coffee link are put towards making more and better content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.